Hey everyone, I've a user guy here playing Pizza Tower. I've done half of World 3, onto the second half of it now. Ooh, okay, go faster. Alright. Rockets, okay, yes, that's also different. Oh, I see. So instead of having to turn around manually, you instead just turn around when you hit the wall. Okay. That's pretty convenient, to be honest. And you can also just stay in the bubble as long as you like. I don't think you could do that as pink. version of the olive seems pretty powerful. how good this rocket transformation is. I mean, it seems pretty amazing, but like, what if you want to turn around without it? You've got no way of doing that, so it could be a bit of a problem in situations where you want to do that. We'll see. Oh, wow, and that gives you a different way to get into this secret, which is pretty nice. God. Nice. 
face. I was wondering if I'd be able to get that achievement the first time. If you're wondering, it's the achievement for not hitting the ceiling, not hitting any sword, any ceilings after the bit of the John. It also makes that secret really goddamn easy to get into as well. Alright. Oh, I need to use this. gonna be annoying as it normally is. Ah, I'm always so bad at this. Actually, getting on the ro the rocket accidentally isn't really a problem, considering you can just jump off it. I think I did pretty damn well. Does he have a... yeah, he does have a clown transformation. Okay. Seems kind of unnecessary. How do you get out of it? Uh, there we go. Okay. Then we just need to do gold. If you got to say. Right, okay. Same as what you normally say. Otherwise, I mean, maybe with slightly different trajectories or something. Come on, get in there. Oh, 
damn it. Uh, go into the secret. Try that again. There. I shouldn't slide. Not if I can avoid it. Okay. There we go. Oh, right, okay. I guess you can't do that. Ah, damn it. I don't... Uh, I don't need it, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I might cut some of this bit now. There we go, finally! This is just functionally the same as normal. Alright. Hopefully the other ones will be a bit easier.
see if we can do the skip. Yeah, there we go. We can skip a tiny little bit there, where you would normally have to turn around. Oh, kind of tossed by complete there. Is that for killing enemies for the gold ball? Ah! This one is always so annoying. This golf section. Isn't actually that bad this time, to be honest. Things considered. Come on, get down there. I started playing Pizza Town, I really thought that the fox bells would give you more time. Obviously they don't. But you would have thought, wouldn't you? Like they look like they should give you time, not points, really. Excellent. That went pretty well. It's almost an S rank, I feel. But the S rank requirements are always a lot more than the A rank requirements. Okay, uh, now we're going to fight the noise? Uh, how does that work? Um, hmm. Are we gonna fight Pepino instead? Maybe? Uh, oh, it's like fake noise. Okay. <laughs> the doys, of course. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be identical to the noise fight then. Oh, God. Like noise is not particularly well suited to fighting himself. I'm not sure. Oh, he just throws rocks. What? Well, the rocks seem a lot less dangerous than the bombs. I don't know if they are, but 
Oh, what? Why am I? Oh, right, yeah, of course. Yeah, it, it doesn't make as much sense for him to do that if you don't need to get close to him. Harder to dodge than it would be as you know. I think it might be because of the lack of grab dash. Okay. Good. Anticipated at that time. Uh. Oh, come on. Really? I don't know why I'm so bad at the bosses in particular. I'm doing perfectly fine on the main levels. Anyway, next time we'll move on to World 4. See you then.